UK YouTubers. This is Joe from Martini TV. Another quick game of interplanetary ice spy going on here. Now today we're going back to Mars and Sol 862 and unusually we're going to be looking at the rear house cams uh, from this particular Sol. Now these images were taken a couple of years back, um, quite a long time ago now, but were sent in by one of my subscribers called Andrea Galindo who actually made a couple of little videos on her mobile phone using images which she got from the one or two NASA apps and processed on her phone and made it into a little short video. So I'll have a link to this channel below, so check out this. Uh, she's done a re remarkable job considering uh, that she'd done this on her mobile phone. I think it's very clever actually. Um, and done some pretty good image processing as well, which is not easy on a mobile device. Um, so full credit to Andrea for this. I think she's from the Oak Island sort of area, I'm guessing. So thanks very much for sending this in. Right, let's crack on with it. Now, um, here's the page. Uh, the ones we want to look at are these two. Now, the one on the left here is the one with the UFO in, and the one on the right of it is th basically the same shot without the UFO in it. And these were both taken at the same time. One by the left B has come, and one by the right B has come, okay? And I'll just show you these on the back of the rover here. You can see the two little cameras on the back. Um, now, they don't take them exactly the same time, even though the times are the same here. Look, if you look at the time, it says 22, 39, 57 on both of them. There would be a slight delay between these two because there's only one sensor on this, uh, on the whole um, rover that is used and shared between all the cameras. So that even though it says the same time, this one would have been taken a fraction of a second later, but less than a whole second, obviously. Okay. So I'll show you the raw image first and of course links to these images will all be below and everything else. Okay, as usual. Now let's show you the raw image. I'll go in and show you a clip of it. And here we have it. Now this is raw. All I've done is enlarge it. And we have actually I'll show you the I'll show you the complete image first, actually, just to show you I'm not making this up. You look over to the right top corner here, you can see the rover wheel here, the one of the back wheels. Uh, okay, so this quite large, I think they're about 18 inches wide or something like that. And you've got some flat ground leading up to this ridge line, which is about 20, 30 feet, possibly 50 feet away. And you have, just above the ridge line, a black object hovering above the ridge line, peeking over the ridge line. Okay, there we have it. Uh, and it's fairly pixelated because this is a low-res image. So the way to get rid of a lot of this pixelation and look at the real shape of the object is to enlarge, take a clip and enlarge the image, okay? But you have to increase the pixel density, like I've done here, to smooth it off and, and give you the real shape. This gets a, rid of the blocky pixelation, uh, which can ruin an image, especially when it's fairly low-res like these are. Okay, so I'll run through these clips. Here's a raw clip just been enlarged and you can see that it, it is a very interesting shape and unlike a lot of the other uh, UFOs that have been spotted on Mars before in fact I've not seen one like this before this is highly unusual and I was quite excited when I looked at it I, I do get sent quite a lot of things like every day by people from all over the world and often they turn out to be nothing at all or with this one which is unusual they often turn out to be something very interesting um, and you can actually see with this that there is a long straight back with a tail here and a sort of nose at the front and possibly a wheel or something sticking down some kind of landing gear okay and that's not being processed that's just a raw clip okay so here's the same clip just brightened up you can see it a bit clearer now you can see the shape to me, this looks like a helicopter. Now, I'm not saying it is a helicopter, a helicopter, I'm saying it's shaped like a helicopter, just to give you an idea of what I think the shape is. This looks like a body and a tail with a tail plane on the back. Now, if this was using uh, some kind of propulsion you know, system, don't, uh, don't know, it could be hovering, some kind of hovercraft, like a drone. It may well have a rotor system here, which we can't see because they don't show up in low res images from a distance. Uh, don't know. I'm speculating here, but I'll, I'll go through some of these enhancements. There we go. And you can see here that there's something sticking down at the front. And you can see the long straight back and tail 
and an interesting configuration at the back here. There may be a, a rotor here, and there may be a, a rotor here, but we can't see it because it's from the side view. So there we go. And I, I did some various things. This is one of the ones I like because I, I, I've changed the, the color. And you can really see how straight the back is on this and how, how it's shaped at the back here with the tail sticking out the back. And there's definitely something sticking down here, some kind of landing gear sticking down. Uh, who knows? And a, a, quite a definitive nose shape at the front. Okay, so it's definitely that shape because um, you know it's in the image. All I've done is enlarge it and process it to bring out the shape clearer for you, so that people on mobiles can see it. And there's a different treatment of it there. You can still see that shape. There's definitely something sticking down there. But there may be something, there, there's, there's a weird sort of almost semi-shadow here which says to me there's something sticking up there, but it's too fine uh, to, to really show, and it may well be a rotor or something sticking up, don't know. Now, this size word, I couldn't tell you how big this is because it's, it's almost impossible to say. There's another treatment of it there, different colour filters, and there's a basic shape of it, okay? I managed to get it down to that using the contrast and you can't really see a great deal other than the overall shape but there seems to be something here and it could well be something at the back here which is out of focus and, and not showing okay so I'll put clips of these some of these in at the end as well I've done a contour thing of it there just to give you a sort of idea of what it looks like so I thought it was really cool it's very different from ones I've seen before I'll quickly show you um, uh, a comparison. Now, I thought it was sim kind of similar to this. Now, this is a, a US transport helicopter dropping dropping off or carrying, uh, I think it's an M49 Bulldog or something with a big Harrod, 155 millimeter Harrods on the, on, on the front there. Very fast uh, light tank this with a very big gun. <laughs> very dangerous on the battlefield. Very fast indeed. Um, it does over 50 miles an hour, I think, this thing, 50, 60 miles an hour. It's incredibly fast. But this actually is a very similar shape. You have an interesting tail configuration here. Now, these come in all shapes and sizes with different types of helicopters. Some stick up, some, some stick down, some stick sideways. So, um, you know, they're, they're all many, there are probably hundreds of variations on this, depending on what model you look at and what type of helicopter it is. And at the front here, you have a similar nose and some landing gear sticking down here, like a wheel. So I'm not saying this thing on Mars is a helicopter. It may not be, but it could be a miniature helicopter. It could be a drone that's following the rover, okay? Who knows what it is? The question is, is it one of ours? Or is it an alien drone or helicopter or UFO that's following the rover? and watching its every move and occasionally peeking over ridges and ducking back down again. Um, it is pretty impossible to say how big it is because when you look at the raw image, let's go to back to the original raw image here. And here's the other image taken milliseconds before. Uh, by its, You can see it's a slightly different angle here. So it's taken from the right camera and it's not there, okay? It's just not there. There's, no, there's nothing here. Okay, but when you flip to the the left one, the left B camera, it's there. So now this may have been hovering there for some time after this, but there weren't any shots taken until the next day uh, after this one. So this could be very small. This may only be a couple of feet across and fairly close to us, like just above this ridge, or it could be much, much bigger and much further away. But the fact that it's very black, I mean, really quite black, says to me that it's, it's a black object, or a very dark coloured object, and it's fairly close. I'm, and when I say fairly close, I'm saying less than half a mile away. So it may be quite small. Like a lot of the things on Mars, it could be miniature. Um, okay, so that kind of gives you a rough idea of the perspective with the wheel here, looking up into this corner. And it's a very dark image, this. Um, I think this is taken near dawn or something in the morning, or perhaps uh, at night even. Don't really know. Um, so there we have it. How big is it? Can't tell you. It's definitely shaped like a helicopter. And actually, when you look at these images really small, like I've got them here now, 
look at the shape of this helicopter here and then compare it to that, it's not a million miles away from it in shape. It's not the same. I'm not saying it is a helicopter. I can't possibly tell. But with my experience of UFOs and aircraft taking photographs over many, many years, when you take a photograph of a helicopter at a distance with a low-res camera, that's the sort of effect you get because it will not pick up the rotor blades at all and will only pick out the main shape of the body and tail and, and, and other thinner details like you have on this thing simply just don't show up because the camera resolution would be too, too low, uh, especially if the object is far away or quite small. Okay, uh, There's another uh, military transport here dropping off some Marines here. This is a, an Osprey, I think. Cool. And, and you know, aircraft, they come in all shapes, all shapes and sizes, uh, and so we have thousands of types of drones now on Earth. So why not on Mars? Um, if there was a civilization there, or still is remnants of a civilization, why wouldn't they have surveillance aircraft? Um, and there are rumors that the Americans are actually already on Mars. In fact, uh, not just the Americans, but other people as well, and have been for some time and maybe set, have, a, have a military base there. So this could be a military aircraft in the distance that just happens to be flying past and showed up as it flew in the distance uh, just above this ridgeline. So who knows? Before we go, I'll quickly show you a couple of other UFOs on Mars. This was an interesting one which I published a couple of years ago, back in uh, about a year ago, a year and a half ago, called the uh, Mars UFO Crashing. And this was interesting because it was also a black object, but it seems to be a saucer-shaped object crashing down to the surface with smoke piling off of it. And it seems to be tumbling. And you see the negative of it here. It seems to be tumbling. In other words, it looks like it's been shot down. So there is some sort of activity going on in the skies up there on Mars. And quite a few people have spotted these things. Um, but this one we're looking at today is uh, one of the most interesting because um, basically, it's the, the weirdest shape. I've never seen one quite like that on Mars. They're usually either disc shaped or like a missile type shape, like this other one I've got here, which looks like a missile with a tail. Okay, so while we're doing, I'll, I'll put these in a little short playlist for you, these UFO videos that I've done in the past, because now I've got this one uh, from Andrea Galindo that she sent in very kindly. Uh, there's enough for a short playlist, so check that out. I will put a link in at the end so you can just quickly look at it. These are real short videos, only a couple of minutes long, so it won't take you all day. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.